as jawless fish, hagfish are among the most primitive fish, and they possess more primitive features than do lampreys. Their heart possesses three chambers. Blood flows into the sinus venosus, where the autorhythmic fibers initiate uh, the heartbeat, as in higher vertebrates, at least in embryos. From there into the single atrium, from there into the single ventricle. Hagfish have the primitive feature of their pericardial cavity not being completely isolated from the peritoneal cavity. The hearts of lampreys have a few more traits in common with higher vertebrates, which hagfish lack, such as the ending of the connection uh, between the pericardial cavity and the peritoneal cavity after the development, and the beginnings of a fourth heart chamber, the conus arteriosus. Shark hearts are larger and more muscular, given the more active lifestyle of the jawed fishes compared to the jawless fishes. Blood enters into the sinus venosus from uh, the systemic veins, and then is pumped into the one single atrium. From there, uh, blood enters the ventricle, which has a much thicker wall, given that it is going to uh, create the blood pressure, which circulates blood throughout the body, and into the conus arteriosus, which in higher vertebrates is divided to form the aorta and pulmonary trunk. Shark hearts possess the coronary blood vessels that the jawless fish lack, and here you can see that it also possesses semilunar and atrioventricular valves. The hearts of bony fish are essentially the same as the hearts of sharks, as is evidenced here in two primitive bony fish, the gar, which is a chondrostian, and a bofin, which is a primitive neopterygian. Blood enters in the sinus venosus and is pumped into the single atrium, from there to the single ventricle, which is more muscular given that it generates the blood pressure, and from there into the conus arteriosus. There are atrioventricular and semilunar heart valves. The hearts of lungfish demonstrate the precursor to the tetrapod condition of separating the atria, given that lungfish have a partial septum between the two atria, and that while the sinus venosus empties the oxygenated blood into the right half, the uh, lungs uh, empty their pulmonary veins uh, carrying oxygen into the left half. 